TV KPM Hi Mr. Q. Hi, hello TV. Oh my god, this is very tasty nasi lemak there. Yes. So this nasi lemak, have you eaten one of this before? Of course, nasi ah. lemak is one of my favourite Malaysian dishes. Ah. But I mean, speaking about nasi lemak, right? Why do we have nasi lemak today? Okay, first of all, I would like to introduce some of the materials that are inside this nasi lemak dish. Eh? Okay. So we have the egg. Yes. We have the groundnut. And we have cucumbers and also anchovies, not forgetting the rice. Okay, yes. So, it, it smells very delicious as well. Mm, so, this nasi lemak has got to do a lot about the topic that we are going to learn about today, which okay. is about mixture. Mixtures! Right, okay. That's pretty much why we have nasi lemak today. Mm. Right, let's find out more about it. Shall we start eating first? Alright, alright. Let's eat. Should I, should I open my one? Yeah, yeah, sure. Of course. Okay. Good day everyone, how is everyone doing? Hope you're having an amazing day. Today we are joined here at DDA TV KPM for DLP Science Year 2. Together with me, Thivya, and our studio guest, our lovely teacher joining us is none other than Mr. Kwak Chok Yu, Mr. Q. Hello, Mr. Q. Hi, Thivya. How are you? I'm good. Right, all ready to begin our session, am I right? Yes, all ready. Right, without further ado, let me also quickly introduce our lovely interpreter joining us is uh, teacher Kulina, all the way from SMK Sultan Abdul Samad. So, without further ado, I'm sure we looked at uh, the delicious nasi lemak earlier mm -hmm. with what is inside, the mixtures and all, right? And uh, today, right now, we have changed into like an experiment table. I'm, sh I'm sure Mr. Q is going to surprise us with something. So, please tell us, Mr. Q, what do we have? Ah, today, we are going to learn about the topic mixture. Okay. Okay, and then the first, in this segment, we are going to talk about how to we, how do we separate materials? Huh? How mm -hmm. do we separate the mixtures into materials that we need? We want. Huh? Okay. Okay. So in front of us, there are uh, altogether five types of experiments that we are going to do here okay. today. Okay. So the first method it's about hand picking. Hand picking. Yes. So right. in front of us, we have uh, this wrinkle. This dates. mixture, right? Uh -huh. So we have the red dates and the goji berry. So okay. this is the goji berry. And this is the red dates. Yep. So, by using our hands. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so are you going, going to do the first experiment right now? Yes, we are going okay. to do it right now. So, okay. uh, Tivia, could you help me to yes. separate it? Uh, you so, take the red dates, I'll take the goji berry. Okay, so we're going to be doing it together. Okay. So, people at home, this is the first experiment that we're doing. And uh, we are separating in terms of, you know, yeah. Hand picking. Ah, yes. that's the first experiment. The reason, that we're doing. Yeah, yeah, the reason why we in this uh, we are using this method, the hand picking method, because mm -hmm. both goji berries and the red dates are, are large in size and mm -hmm. they have different shapes. So it is easily we can easily identify them. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. That's the reason. Uh. Basically, because it's a larger in size and easier for us to identify the shape, right? Yes, if it's, it's of in... both uh, the berries and the dates, so it's easier for us to hand pick. Mm. Ah. So be, if it's, if uh, one of it is in a powder form, mm -hmm. it's going to be tough for us. Yep. Okay. So now that we have uh -huh. separated and it looks, yeah, I'm going to show. It. Yeah. Right. There's yep. the hand picking method. Method. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I hope everyone at home, mm -hmm. you can use this uh, method when separating bigger, larger objects. Yes. All right? Okay. So the next method that we are going to look into is the Second sieving method. method. Sieving method. So as you can see, this is a sieve. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a sieve. 
And in front of us here, the, uh, I've actually mixed, I have a mixture here. Okay, mm -hmm. this mixture is actually a combination of raisins and also flour. Okay, flour. okay. Okay, so... I'm sure this is a method that I often see moms use at home. Yes, Am I right? yes, of course. <laughs> right, okay. So because these materials, mm -hmm. one of them is in powdery form, powdery yes. solid form, mm -hmm. and another one, it's a, it's a, it's a larger size. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we cannot use the method that we used just now, which mm -hmm. was the hand-picking hand method. Okay. So now we're going to try uh, use this Steaming to method. Okay. Yes. So I'll have this in front of it. Okay. Mr. Q is going to do the honor. Yes, I'm going to hold this. <laughs> okay. Can you pour it? The... Okay. Okay. So, slowly, huh? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, so as Steve, yeah, as Steve pour. is pouring it, okay, uh, you'll see that the powder or the flour, the powders, uh, yeah, it Should is. Should I pour everything? Yes, pour everything. Okay. So, okay. okay. So then after right. TVR pour it, I'm going to sieve it. Lah. Move it around. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so what is left? It is beautifully sieving, right? Yes. And then finally, we were left with the raisins. Wow. Like a uh. magic. Yes. Okay. So this is how we sieve. Ah. Especially, mm -hmm. we, we can only use this method for uh, solid Powder. objects. Ah. All right. Powder and when it's mixed with solid. Yeah. We, you know, use sieving for easier yes. separation. Yes, because later on we will see another method which is similar, mm -hmm. but that one is got to do with the liquid and the solid. Okay. So this is only for both solids. Mm -hmm. Can I see? Yes. Ah. So now you have the raisins. The raisins actually covered in flour. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is pretty much how the raisin that's mm -hmm. also covered with. Flour and now it has beautifully separated. I feel very bad for separating everything, but that's the lesson that we are learning today, <laughs> people at home, in terms of separating two different, you know, items, materials, you know, yeah. materials. Yes, that's right. Okay, so what do we have next, Mr. Q? Okay, moving on, we are going to do a little fun experiment, which okay. is called the magnetic uh, attraction. Magnet. Okay, so magnetic attraction, as you see here, I have. Um, what is it called? Paper clips here. Mm -hmm. You're going to put it inside this uh, container full with uh, corn kernels and also sago seeds. Okay. 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 So, as you know, magnets, uh, the magnets can only attract can only attract objects that are made by iron. Correct. So, this method is uh, uh, effective to removing iron from uh, certain what do you call? A certain cert mixture. Yes, yeah, certain mixture. Right. When there's a magnet and if there is an any iron around you know, a mixture, we put a magnet and it will, it will attract it, right? Yes. Okay. okay. When I was it? in school, I loved doing this experiment. So I'm sure people at home, it's going to be very fun as well. So, correct, just, right? just, just, just like that. Just move it. Okay, you can put it up. Wow. Uh -huh. There you go. Yes. Okay, so this is the third method that mm -hmm. Uh, we have just introduced to everyone at home, yeah? Can you do it one more time? Yeah, yeah, sure. Because it's fun, a bit fun. One more time for people at home. So you just... You can get all these in uh, shops, stationery shops, huh? if you ah, want to play with Ah, this. this looks nice. I think it's very nice to witness science in hand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The following experiment is about flotation. So, okay. I have a mini aquarium here. Mm -hmm. So, this mini aquarium, um, it's a, it's filled with wood debris. Okay. So if I want to remove this wood debris, it's going to be hard, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's all like, mixed. Yeah, mixed up together. Okay. So what we're going to do is, could you help me open the bottle of water? Sure. Okay. So Tivia, you just pour water inside this uh, mini aquarium. Okay. Just keep pouring until it's uh, almost full. Mr. Q asked me to pour slowly, so I don't, okay. you know. All right, uh, five more seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. okay. So from here, mm -hmm. we can see that the wood debris are actually floating. Yeah. Uh, so this is a simple way of how to remove the wood, wood. debris. Yeah. Right, yeah. okay. So we can remove the wood debris mm -hmm. from... The, the sand. Yes. 
Right, that's one way of separating. Yes, then you can get a clean aquarium for mm -hmm. your fishes to yep. swim inside. Alright, okay. so that's uh, flotation. Yep. Okay. And finally, mm -hmm. the we final have, method. Yeah, the final method is called the filtration method. Filtration. Okay, so in this, do you know what? Do you know what's inside this, Sylvia? Let me let me see. Is it is it tea? Yes, it is tea. So it's one of, uh, as a Chinese, uh -huh. uh, it's one of our favorite drink. Uh. Ah, uh, is it Chinese tea? Yes, Chinese tea. Chinese tea is also one of my favorite. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, okay. as you can see, um, it starts to change color, right? Yep. Ah, uh, okay. So, but the problem with drinking tea like that is mm -hmm. we we find it uh what do you call when disturbing the, yeah disturbing because the tea leaves <laughs> are stuck inside our yeah. tongue. So what we can do is we got to filter this out. Okay. We're gonna filter this That's out. That's what we're gonna do. Yes, because filtration method is basically for um, separating materials that are solid and liquid form. Okay, different materials yes. that are together. We try to separate it. Yes. So, okay. so this is a filter funnel. Mm -hmm. This is how we're gonna do it, right? And then I have the filter paper, put it on top. All right. Okay. Okay. And you're gonna put it here. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna pour the okay. liquid inside. Should I hold it? Uh yeah. Uh, it's okay. okay. Sure. Oh. Ah, so the leaves, right? The tea leaves will be filtered out. Yes. Then you can enjoy ah. your tea uh, better. Okay. Right. So, people at home, while waiting for that, you know, water to just run down. Um, I think I've... I have a question. Oh, you me. have a question? Yes. Okay, tell so, me. So, we have, since we have already learned five methods uh, to remove to separate uh, mixtures. Okay, it's a question for me yeah, or the the, for the people at home? I think this is for you. For me? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. What is the best method to separate paper clips and staples? Paper clips and staples. Mm. So, paper clip is what we saw just now, right? It's yeah. the iron. And uh, staples. Two also iron. Two yes. also. Can I use magnetic for both? Do you think you can use magnetic? I'm not sure. Tricky questions. People say at home, help me out here, okay? If uh, there is staple, if uh, there is paper clip, then how do we separate it? Hmm. hmm. Yes or no? Can we use magnetic attraction? Uh, the only separation method that comes to my mind is actually magnet because I know magnet can separate uh, uh, iron. Yes. But please tell us what is the right answer. Okay, the right answer is by using hand picking. Because ah, okay. we are, if both are uh, both objects are made of iron, it's impossible to use the magnetic attraction mm -hmm. to remove the two right. Uh, okay, materials. both also will be attracted to the magnet. Yes. Okay. So as you know, both uh, objects are also large in mm -hmm. size. So the best way is to use the. Uh, hand picking method. Right, okay, with that, people at home, I'm sure you are also um, confused and at the same time enlightened, right, about what's happening right now. And uh, go home, right, at or your own home, go and find a stapler, find a paper clip, and see how you can attract or separate it using magnet and see if it works. If it doesn't work, then we need to use hand pick, like what Mr. Q mentioned. Right, with that, people at home, do that experiment on your own while we go for a very short commercial break and we'll be back very shortly. Oh. Welcome back, people at home. Have you managed to separate the stapler and the paper clip? If you have tried with the magnet, I'm sure you know the hand picking is the best method. Like what Mr. Q has taught us. Hello, Mr. Q. Welcome back. Hi. Uh, hello, Tivia. Okay. So, so we did uh, uh, discuss a lot about a separation method together with Mr. Q and in the topic of mixture. Mm. So in this particular segment, what do we have, Mr. Q? Okay. So in this segment, we are going to talk about 
uh, soluble materials and also insoluble okay. materials. All right. So basically, soluble materials are materials that can dissolve in water, whereas non uh, what do you call insoluble materials are materials that cannot dissolve okay. in water. All right. So there we are today. We are going to be experimenting that. Correct. Yes. So okay. in front of us, we have this corn kernel. Okay. So we're going to do a simple experiment mm -hmm. where we are going to place what um, sugar? sugar okay inside this uh, container okay filled with together uh, corn with kernels. corn okay All right. so so we'll see whether the sugar or the corn kernel remains after adding water inside okay okay so we gonna we're going to be see, seeing it's going to be dissolving or not yes. correct okay so people at home, you can see whether if we put the sugar inside, is it dissolving, you know, together with the water. Okay. Right? Okay. So now I'm going to place water inside this container. So it's a warm water? Is it hot water? Oh, uh, it can be warm. Okay. It can be uh, normal, uh, what do you call it? Temp room temperature water. All right. Regardless. Yeah, regardless. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we are going to stir this up. Okay. So we're going to stir it. So as we stir, we could see the colour changing a bit. Yeah, okay. And but do you see like sugars inside? Do you still see the sugars? Looks like it has dissolved. Looks like I can't see it's any sugar, you know, the small, small particles inside. Yeah, so it's not visible anymore, correct? Yeah, so people at home, are you seeing what I'm seeing? So if you are not seeing the sugar there anymore, that means it has dissolved, correct, yes, Mr. Q? Yes, correct. Okay. Is it interesting? Yes, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, why not we do a, a little bit more, a few test it on a few more uh, Yes, what do you call? please, let's do materials. it. So, okay. the pupils also, they understand a little bit more about the soluble and non-soluble. Yes. Okay. So, in front of us here, we have three containers. Okay. Okay, the first container contains salt. Salt. The second container contains green beans. Green beans. And the third container contains rice. Rice, okay. Okay, so do you want to do it? Yes, okay. I'd love to. So, I where want do you I to add this? water inside three All of All three? The, yes. Just All add, right. Yeah. So, add to uh, three quarters full. Okay. Just keep so, adding. I'm adding water to salt, right? Yeah, adding water to salt. Just keep pouring, pouring. Okay. Mm, some more? Okay, enough? A bit yes, more. A bit more. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to leave it. Yes. And I'm going to be adding water to green beans right now. So, I pop, 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 pop. Okay. All right, a bit more. All right. Okay, okay. so this is green bean. And now rice. Finally, is rice. I'll always mix um, water and rice at home. Uh -huh. <laughs> when we cook rice. Yes. Okay, so okay. now let us stir it and see okay. whether it still remains or not. Okay? Okay. So the first one is the salt, right? Yes. So I'm going to stir it. Alright, people at home, if you are, you know, if you have salt at home, I'm sure you have, you know, with parents' guidance, you can also try this experiment by adding salt and water to see if it's dissolving or not, right? Okay, the colour changes already, right? Yes, the colour changes. Do you know why the colour changes? Because it's dissolving, yes. the salt is dissolving. Yes, the salt is dissolving inside the water. Okay. Then you have this. Um, so can you stir this? Can. The green okay. bean. Okay. So right now we are stirring green bean. Is there changes in the color of the water? Uh, it's a little bit... Still the same, right? Still the same, but not yeah. as clear as before, but mm, not so much a difference. Yeah, so yeah. we can see this, we can see, still see the green beans yes, inside the container. Yes, very visible. The green beans are still yeah. very so visible. So we can conclude that it does not dissolve in water. Uh, can you try this? The last yes. one, rice and Finally, water? Finally, we try to stir rice. Mm. So if, is the rice still there? Yes, we could still see the rice Although very Although the clearly. water is a bit murky, but yes. the rice is still... Uh, present visible. inside, yeah, Correct. it's still visible. But mm -hmm. as for salt, 
it's not visible anymore. Yes, it okay? seems like it's fully dissolved. Yes, it's not visible anymore because salt dissolves in water. Okay. Okay, it's a solu it's soluble in water, all right? Mm -hmm. So look at this, uh, what do you call? This uh, whiteboard, look at the whiteboard here. Okay. I would like you to fill in the blanks. All right. So for salt, do you think it's visible or not visible? Salt, non-visible. Yes, non-visible. So it, it is non-visible. Mm -hmm. Can we conclude that it dissolve or do not dissolve in water? Dissolve. Yes. Right. Correct. Well okay. done, Tivia. Okay, next, let us look at green beans. Right. So is the green beans visible? Yes. Yes. So I think both the rice and the green beans are visible. visible so yes. I'll just put it together. Alright, so we can conclude that they dissolve or do not dissolve in water. Do not dissolve. Excellent, right. Tivia. Okay. All right. I, with that, we kind of understood what is uh, visible and non-visible, but also that concludes what's dissolving and not dissolving. Right. With that, Mr. Q, we're going to be going for a very short break and we'll come back to understand a little bit more about mixture on top of understanding the dissolving and non-dissolving materials as well. With that, we'll be very back shortly. KPM. Welcome back, peoples at home. I'm sure you are excited to know what we are about to do for this particular segment. So let's jump right into it. Hello, Mr. Q. Welcome back. So please tell us what we have for this segment. I see we have new setup of experiments. Yes. Thank you, Tivia. So in this segment, we are going to look at how to make soluble materials dissolve quicker in water. Ah, okay. Okay, so in front of us here, we have we can see three different containers, uh, three sets of containers. So okay. we have the red, red container cap, and then we have the gold, mm -hmm. and then the silver. So, okay. so we can conclude that from here, we know that we're going to do three experiments. Okay. Do three simple investigations. All right. So the first one, we are going to put hot water and cold water to see how fast they dissolve in water. Okay, so, so one yes. container... So you're going to put cold water inside. Okay. Uh, what do you call this? Um, you're going to be putting yes. hot water. Okay. So the first red container, I am pouring the cold water. Cold water. So, just don't so need should to I pour it, it nah? full? Full, yeah. Full, okay. Okay. So should I close it? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Wait. Okay, so we're going to shake it a bit. Okay. Just give a, sh a shake. Okay. Okay. So. So that's a difference that we are seeing in terms of hot water and uh, cold water. Okay. So, as you can see, both of them still has sugar inside, correct? Okay. But which amount is more? On the, the left or on my right? The hot water is left hand side. The hot water is has smaller, you know, particles lesser. of sugar. Yes, lesser. Yes, it's lesser compared to the cold, cold water. water. So we can conclude that in the hot water, uh, in the hot water, mm -hmm. this uh, sugar will dissolve faster mm. compared to inside the uh, cold water. Okay. Okay. All so right. this is in hot water, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. The next uh, experiment that we we are going to do is we are going to put both cold. Uh, Cold water inside. Mm -hmm. Both also cold water. Yes. So this okay. experiment, we are going to, uh, we are going to alter, uh, we are going to stir. One of it, we are going to stir it, and the ah, other one, we are okay, not going okay. to stir it. Okay. Understood. To see which one will dissolve faster. Okay. So I've poured mine. Okay. Then I'm going to pour mine. Okay. So I'm going to stir mine. Okay. Okay. Yours, you just. So we're just going to leave. Yes. Okay. So we're going to. Stir it a bit. 
So as you stir, we'll know whether it is dissolving or not. Am I yeah, right? Actually, it helps the process of dissolving. Dissolving. Okay. Uh, so mine, it's since we didn't stir anything. Yeah, you so can see a lot of, of sugar yeah, particles the, the, there. The sugar is there, yeah. right? But for this, it is much lesser, right, Nat? Yeah. Okay. Kat sini. This one. So over can here. you see? For this, you still can see some uh, what they call sugar particles, but for mine, you can't see it anymore. Yeah. Okay, it's very little. Yes. Okay. So it has dissolved when you stir more. Yes. Yeah, it dissolved. So it's more. quicker. Mm -hmm. So if you stir a material, uh, stir a soluble material in mm -hmm. water, it will fasten the process, mm -hmm. you know, make okay. it quicker. All right. So okay. our silver cap. Yes, silver cap experiment is about uh, large. Uh, what do you call? Cube, uh, we are using larger cubes, mm -hmm. sugar, and the fine, finer sugar cubes. Okay. Sugar, like the usual. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this is the rock sugar. So we're going to add water inside. Both cold water. Yeah, both cold water. Okay. Okay, yours. Uh, this for this experiment, we do not need to shake it. Okay. Okay. All right. So you can cover it up. Okay. Okay. Let us show to, towards the camera. Is this dissolving faster than this? Mm, the Which solid, one dissolves faster? Definitely the solid is taking some time to dissolve. Seems like this finer sugar is dissolving faster. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Definitely because um, if, the, if, the, if the material is bigger in size, mm -hmm. it has a larger surface area. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it is hard. For it, it takes it takes longer time to mm -hmm. uh, dissolve okay. compared to the ones which are finer. All right. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So, so what's so next after understanding these three yes, um, experiments? Yes. So we are going to answer. You are going to help us answer some of the questions I have here today. Me. So I have another question. People at home. Yes. So let us look at the slide. Okay. So the first question is materials can dissolve more quickly in hot water or cold water? Materials can dissolve more quickly in hot water or cold water. Hmm, I think it's hot water from what we experimented. It seemed to dissolve faster. Yeah, okay. so the answer would be the materials can dissolve more quickly in mm -hmm. hot water than cold water. Yes. All Excellent. Right. Excellent. Next question. Materials can dissolve more quickly in water if it is stirred or not stirred? Stirred, of course <laughs> it's stirred. <laughs> I witnessed myself. It yeah. is, you know, if it's stirred, it is definitely easier to dissolve. Yes, okay. okay. Last question is, a big or small size material dissolve more quickly than a big or small size material? Mm -hmm. Which one is the answer? Which one dissolve uh, more quickly? Small or bigger? Small size materials definitely dissolve more quickly than the big size material. Yes. Okay. Seems like you've get a hang on it. Mm -hmm. Good job, Tivia. All right. People at home, we are pretty much, you know, done. We've come to the end of our experiment and uh, session for today. So, Mr. Q, can we have a quick summary, please, uh, from what we have learned today? Okay. So, today, we have learned about the methods, the ways to separate uh, mixtures, first of all. And secondly, we have learned about what are soluble materials and what are non-soluble materials in water. Mm -hmm. And finally, in this segment, we mm -hmm. have also learned how to make soluble materials in water dissolve more quicker. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. mm. But overall, how did I do, Mr. Q? You know, you need to tell how was my performance answering his questions, right? Yes, Please I tell. think you did pretty well. I'll mm -hmm. give you five stars for it. Five stars! That means people at home also get five stars because yes. they were helping me in that sense. All right, so pretty much if uh, people at home and if they want to go ahead and you know, have a look at the uh, subject material, where can they find it? They can find it from the Delima KPM website. All right. 
So people at home, if you could uh, do revision, you know, understand this experiment a little bit better, I'm sure you can head to that website and uh, do your own revision. With that, uh, we'd like to thank Mr. Q for being very encouraging, very adventurous when it comes to our experiments. Right, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Q, for joining us. And we also like to uh, thank our interpreter, Ms. Ku, for joining us as well. And uh, thank you so much, uh, people at home. We'll be back in another episode. Thank you so much. This is Stevia and you're watching DJ TV KPM. Bye. -bye.